What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitech Lomachenko has some very choice words, who is 17 wins, three losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, he is 35, 36 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch arm reach. Vasil Lomachenko, he has some very, very choice words for undefeated, three division, five time world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered the face of the sport of boxing or one of the faces of the sport of boxing, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no loss, no draw. Uh, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. They're both southpaws. Lomachenko has been pushing for a fight with Javante Tank Davis for quite some time. Okay, uh, at one point in time, Javante Tank Davis and Lomachenko seem to be on a collision course for a massive, a massive fight. Okay, and. It just simply never came to fruition. Their careers took some some turns and uh, it just never came to fruition, right? And so what's shocking is that this is a big fight that Javante Tank Davis has Lomachenko on his hit list, as he stated, right? Um, Javante Tank Davis said he got three fighters on his hit list one being undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, now junior welterweight title contender, Devin the Dream Haney, who is 30 wins, no losses, no draw, uh, 15 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, five for nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. And he also has Olympic silver medalist, undefeated two division world champion, former unified super featherweight WBC WBO world champion, now lightweight title contender, superstar boxer, Shakur Stevenson, who is 20 wins, no loss, no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach, and Lomachenko. So these are the three fighters that Javante Tank Davis has on his list that he wants to fight and he wants to beat. Now, there was a point in time, like I said, when they both was at 130, uh, when they both was at 126, uh, and now when they both at 135, that Lomachenko and Tank Davis was seen to be the fight to be made, okay? And it never happened. It never came to fruition for whatever reasons. Many people feel like it was a uh, legendary, retired, iconic, Hall of Fame superstar boxer turned promoter and founder of Mayweather Promotion CEO, Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby that was preventing the fight. Floyd Mills on record mutual times, many times saying that uh, Lomachenko has to push for the fight because he's an older guy, older fighter, and we taking our time with Javante Tank Davis. And then there was a time when Floyd Mills said he talked to you know, the matchmakers over at top rank and uh, they're looking to make the fight uh, because Lomachenko's with legendary promoter, top rank CEO, Bob Arum and ESPN and top rank. And uh, Floyd Mills said he talked to the matchmakers over at uh, top rank and uh, they was working on a deal to make Devin, uh, excuse me, Javante Tank Davis versus Lomachenko. And uh, it was seen as a punishment. Like Floyd Miller was punishing uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis by making the Lomachenko fight. They both southpaws, they both very skilled. Uh, Tank Davis has more power. Lomachenko is more twitchy athlete where Lomachenko uses angles and you know, uh, he's just seen to be the more better pure boxer, right? nicknamed the matrix and uh that never happened okay um so with that said uh uh we never saw this fight and lomachenko now has at the time he had one loss when this was first being talked about 26 and 30 for lomachenko and tank where uh uh we was talking about tank and lomachenko Tank was undefeated as he still is. Lomachenko had one loss to Salido. Now, since then, Lomachenko has lost 
multiple fights and didn't look very great in the Jermaine Ortiz fight. He lost to Devin Haney May 20th of this year. He lost to Tiafimo Lopez, both unanimous decisions and for undisputed opportunity. He had two undisputed opportunities and he came up short in both of them. And now Lomachenko is talking about possibly retiring. And then before the Devin Haney fight, he fought Jermaine Ortiz and he didn't look good in that fight, right? Uh, now he's talking about retiring. So recently, Lomachenko, he did an interview and he was asked about a fight with himself and Javante Tank Davis. Uh, and what he thinks about Javante Tank Davis being considered one of the faces of the sport of boxing. Their careers have taken completely two different turns, right? Where Javante Tank Davis has become the face of the sport of boxing, uh, doing major numbers, uh, breaking records. He holds the record for the Barclay Center in Brooklyn, New York, when he fought uh, May 28th, uh, 2022, against uh, Rolando Roley Romero, who's not a superstar, who's not well known. Tank carried that. He broke the record at the Capital One Arena, in Washington, D.C., when he fought Hector Garcia, undefeated WBA super featherweight champion. They broke a record for that. $5.2 million gate. $5 million gate at the Barclays Center. Uh, he sold out the formerly known as the Staples Center Crypto Arena in Los, Los Angeles, California, when he fought Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Uh, he don't hold a record there, but he sold out there. Uh, and most recently, he fought against Ryan Garcia, King Ryan, April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. He has a that pay-per-view did 1.2 to 1.4 million pay-per-view buys. It also did the fifth highest gate in Vegas with over $22 million at the gate. So he went on to break records, right? And Lomachenko was asked about this. And Lomachenko said that Javante Tank Davis is not in boxing for legacy. He's in boxing for money. And he's a commercial a boxer, now I'm paraphrasing, uh, and he hasn't fought anybody. He hasn't fought any of the best fighters in the world, right? Um, and you have to question his ability because who did he fight and who did he beat is what Lomachenko is stating. Now, Lomachenko has fought some very good fighters in his career, okay? Uh, Lomachenko, you can't, you can't take away that Lomachenko has fought some of the best fighters in the world. Does he have a better resume than Javante Tank Davis? Absolutely. Okay, uh, Vasil Lomachenko in his career, he fought the likes of Guillermo, uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, okay? Uh, just to go back from the beginning of his career, okay? He fought uh, Orlando Salido, who was a world champion. He fought, he lost that fight. He fought Gary Russell Jr., who was a world champion. He won that fight. Uh, he beat uh, Roman Martinez. Uh, he beat Nicholas Walters, Jason Sosa, Miguel Mariaga, Guillermo, uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux. So he beat Guillermo Rigondeaux, Orlando Salido, uh, um, Gary Russell Jr., okay, Miguel Mariaga, Nicholas Walters, the Axeman. Then he beat world champion, former world champion Jorge Linares. He beat Jose Pedraza, who beat, uh, uh, who Javante Tank Davis beat. Uh, then he beat Luke Campbell, Olympic gold medalist. Then he fought Teofimo Lopez, lost. Then he beat Nakatani, Richard Comey, Richard Comey, former world champion. Then he fought Jermaine Ortiz. I thought he might have lost that fight. Then his last fight was Devin Haney. So no doubt, Lomachenko has fought the better opposition, okay? Uh, and he had more opportunities. Now, the thing is, Javante Tank Davis can have as many opportunities as Lomachenko if he pushes to have the opportunities because he's in a position of power where he can. Okay, now he d he did beat Pedraza. Okay, um, he fought and beat Pedraza uh, back in 2017. Uh, he did beat you know um, Uriokis Gamboa, Leo Santa Cruz, and from that you know he beat Ryan Garcia, Hector Garcia, Isaac Cruz. So he's beaten some quality fighters. Has Lomachenko beaten a better opposition? Yes, but uh, Javante Tank Davis has beaten some quality fighters in his career. Now, the thing about it all is, this is the question that many people have about Javante Tank Davis and his career, who he's beaten and who he has not beaten, okay? Many people have questioned who he has beaten in his career and who he has not beaten in his career and who he has not fought. And he's in a position of power where Javante Tank Davis can push for these fights. 
He can make these fights happen. The Devin Haney's, the Shakur Stevenson's, even Lomachenko. So Lomachenko is correct when he says he hasn't fought the best opposition available. And he's in a position of power where he can choose those opponents. And Lomachenko has fought the best opposition available. He fought Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez, Guillermo, uh, Guillermo Rigondeau, Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. wants to fight Tank Davis. He never got the fight. Devin Haney wants to fight Tank Davis. He never got the fight. Tiafimo said he wanted to fight Tank Davis. So these are all fighters that are calling for fights with Javante Tank Davis. So uh, Lomachenko is right when he says that Javante Tank Davis hasn't fought the best opposition. He's right. But we have to see what's next. Right? He did fight Ryan Garcia, Isaac Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz is the first ballot Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Uh, and that's where, like, you know, uh, he fought other quality fighters. Hector Garcia is a good fighter. But the best of the best he hasn't fought. And Lomachenko is correct when he say that. But will Lomachenko fight him now? That's what we need to see. Devin Haney's going up to fight Regis Progre. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez is getting ready to fight Jose Ramirez. Uh, Tank already knocked out Ryan Garcia. So Shakur is getting ready to fight Frank Martin. Lomachenko and Javante Tank Davis make it happen. It needs to happen. But do y'all agree with Vasil Lomachenko and his standpoint? And do y'all think this fight should be next? But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.